Let's talk just briefly about APOE. And does it change your approach to a patient knowing their APOE status? And if so, how? It does in the sense that um, and it depends on the patient, right? There are some patients who they don't, that information doesn't change anything because they're already going to kind of do everything that is at their disposal to reduce their risk of uh, either neurodegenerative disease or dementia. Uh, there are other patients though for whom I think it does serve as uh, additional motivation to take certain steps. Sure. Um, and so that's one fundamental difference and, and maybe benefit to knowing your APOE4 status. So can I paraphrase just to make sure that I get it right? There's nothing that you would tell somebody uh, that they should do differently from what people should already be doing based on APOE status, but it can motivate some people to be more vigilant. In, in a person in, who's young and healthy, yes. Okay. Right? So so this I, I think there are differences okay. when we get into disease state. But if we're talking about the type of people I take care of who are really in the early stages of prevention, right.